Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Before 8.0 arrives to EU, there is one more small patch, which is called 7.9 part 2. According to our community manager, the schedule looks like this. 8.0 will be released in summer fall 2021, meanwhile 7.9 part 2 is planned before summer. However, the ETA is approximate and the exact date remains unknown. So today I'm gonna show you the main features of the upcoming patch. Let's start with transformation system. There will be new ultimate transformations, Nezakan and Zekel, and you can get them by playing the game. All you need to do is to collect and assemble 500 ultimate fragments of memory and 6 ultimate breaths. After assembling, you will be given Lord's transformation contract two types, which randomly provides Nezakan or Zekel. Pay attention to the fact that it's the only way how to get these new transformations, because you cannot get them via transformation fusion. Now let's see how to farm the components. You can get ultimate fragments from this red box, which is given as a reward for completing lookbook daily and weekly quests. The box contains Nezakan and Zekil potions, and with a certain probability, you may additionally receive 1, 3, 5, 7, or even 10 ultimate fragments. The odds are decent. For example, I opened 20 boxes and got 32 fragments in total. There is also a second way of getting ultimate fragments, but I'll talk about it a bit later. So, when farming fragments, we deal with a bit of RNG. However, the other component, which is Ultimate Breath, will take you strictly 6 months to collect, because once per month you can allocate one breath from the shop, it's for free. On top of Nezakan and Zekel, there will be new ancient transformations as well. They are Snow Fox and Snow Vixen. And as you could already guess, new transformations are followed by new collections. Details can be seen in your screen. In the second part of 7.9 update, you can also change the appearance of your transformation. For example, you can put some white tiger over your Kaisenel. But keep in mind, the transformation which you want to use as a skin has to be unlocked. So that's all regarding transformations. Now let's take a look at other things. We've got five new stages in Labyrinth. You will meet Mantutu, Kerimiven, Captain Grodget, Lenak, and Tahabata. New stages sometimes appear instead of old ones, but they don't completely replace them. Moreover, the instance vendor sells new Panda and Desert Fox candies, as well as the Vanian Wisdom Insignia. A trip to Tempest Fugit is made more comfortable now. If you talk to NPC in Gelkmaros or Ingison Fortress, you can teleport directly to Silentera Canyon next to Tempest Fugit entrance. But that's not all. Farming spirits also became easier because they don't disappear anymore if you leave the area. And we are slowly moving to the next feature of this update. In Tempest Fugit you will find a rift that leads to new location, Kaldor. Veteran players remember this map. It was destroyed by Reshkigal in patch 6.0, and now it's back. As soon as you enter Kaldor, you will see a debuff on your character. It constantly deals damage and cannot be removed. In the middle of the map there is a sort of arena where you can even attack your own faction. However, the members of your group or ally cannot be attacked. Calder is a server-wide map which doesn't require dimensional hourglass. You can only resurrect here using revival stones or character's revival skills. There is no obelisk, meanwhile kisks and x-forms are forbidden. Mobs in this location provide a good amount of experience, but they do not worth spending time on them, because if you need experience, you can gain it much faster by farming elites in Gelkmars or Ingison. The main point of this map is to kill named mobs. They drop bundles with monster platinum cubelets, selection boxes of ancient glory essence, extreme equipment, pre-enchanted ancient esoteris, and legendary ambush gear. Cubelets are tradable via broker. Each bundle has a boss name, and you can pick 10 offensive or defensive cubelets from it. Altogether, there are 13 named mobs in Calder. The respawn time is not big, but the chances of getting good drop are low. They will be increased in the future patches. And the last thing I'd like to mention is Honor Point Reset. It was in Korea, it's planned in Russia, so it's more likely it will also take place in Europe. 
With under point reset there will be new NPC. She sells various items such as ultimate fragments of memory, polishing stones, purifiers, heavy glyph boxes, enchantment stones and other stuff. For making a purchase you will need insignias of honor. This particular item will be given as a compensation for your honor points. The original ratio in Korea was one insignia of honor for 100 honor points. But I have a feeling that overseas publishers will probably come up with a different ratio. And that's it for today. If you still have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you soon.